Hey, I'm back, and today I want to talk about why you should buy used stuff in Japan. I, I know this seems kind of random, but actually you see me wearing this today, this is actually a kimono someone gave me. And it's actually a real kimono, not a, a yukata. And if you can see on here, perhaps, I don't know if it comes out correctly, uh, but here someplace. You can see it has nice helmet design with a sword on it. I don't know if that's coming through there or not. But it has lots of other things. And I actually like this kimono a lot. It's not actually a silk kimono. It's a made of wool, perhaps, or cotton. I'm not sure. Actually, I don't think it's cotton. It's wool. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But anyways, kimonos are generally very expensive. They, The cheaper ones, I think maybe a few hundred dollars. And they go all the way up to like $10,000 for some of the more expensive ones. But this one was actually used and it was really cheap, like $5. And that's one of the things I want to talk about with used things in Japan. So in Japan, oftentimes people for some reason don't seem to want to buy used things. So you can find a lots of things in Japan for very cheap prices when they're used. And not only that, in Japan people generally take really good care of their stuff. So if you buy something used, it's usually not in bad shape. So I've been to like used clothing stores and things like that. And in general, I don't like buying used clothing for me personally. But when I've gone in there and I've seen things in there, I was surprised I saw some shoes and I was like, I don't wanna buy used shoes really. And also they don't have my size in the first place. So even if I did want to buy them, I probably couldn't. But I was surprised that the shoes looked like they hadn't been worn. Or maybe they'd been worn once or twice, but the bottoms had no wear. There's no scuff marks on them. There's no dirt on them. I was like, what? What happened? Are these really used? And a lot of times you can find things like that where you find uh, clothing that hasn't been worn, toys that haven't been opened, etc. And they're half the price of what you'd normally find. So. If you know where to look, you can save a lots of money that way. And so I'll give you some examples. So good places to look are one, a store called Book Off. And this is a great place to find books, but also other things. They have uh, a, I guess, another company called Hard Off, which is unfortunately named. But there you can buy like computer hardware or they have musical instruments, etc. And like I said, usually you can find something good and the price is really cheap. On top of that, I don't know who prices things there. Sometimes they're a bit too high, but sometimes you can find things really, really cheap, especially foreign things. I've seen like uh, tape machines, not like handheld tape machines, but the types they use in recording studios. And I forgot how much it was. It was like a maybe few hundred dollars, but I looked online and I was like, this actually is like worth a few thousand dollars. And the same thing, I bought a book there in English, it was for neuroscience. It looked like it had been opened once, it was a textbook. And I was like, oh, I'll check out neuroscience, I'm a little bit interested. So I decided to buy it because it was 400 yen, which is about $4. And I thought, how much is this book if I bought this in America? So I looked on Amazon.com and it was maybe like $120. And it was even selling used for around like $80 to $90. And I was like, what? But I've noticed this, if you go there, sometimes if you find a book in English, it'll be really cheap. But I know some of you are thinking like, why would I want to go there and buy English books? And I hear you. But things like manga or other things are also cheap. You can get a manga book for you generally 100 yen, sometimes a little bit cheaper, sometimes a little bit more. And they have a whole series where they have everything in the series, like uh, book one through 20. And that's like maybe a thousand yen, which is $10 or $15. So if you're a Japanese learner and you want something cheap to learn with and read, that's a really good deal. Although getting it back to whatever country you're from in your suitcase, you know, it's going to take up some space. But like I said, it, it may be worth it. On top of that, if you're looking for used stuff like kimonos or clothing or something else, a good place to check is Yahoo Auctions. Unfortunately, this requires you to be able to read Japanese, but if you go on there, you can find lots of things cheap like kimonos, etc. And I like this one, but I'm thinking about getting another one, uh, one of like, you know, like 100, maybe not 100 yen, but like 500 yen or so, and then just taking it and not even wearing it, just cutting it up and, you know, putting it on my uh, guitar case or something else. Because kimono fabric's really nice. I like the designs. Uh, unfortunately, 
Because of my height, it's hard to find one that's exactly my size. Even this one is a bit short, but it's not so bad. But if you're not so tall or not so large, you can find ones in your size for cheap. And it's always something cool to bring back to people in America or something. And you don't have to tell them it's used. But <laughs> anyways, that's just uh, something to think about, especially if you want to bring something back with you. Sometimes used things can save lots of money. And uh, like I said, it's not like, you know, in America, I'd be afraid to buy like used clothing. But in Japan, I'm really not. Usually it's well taken care of. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think about it below. And until next time, see you.